Hey y'all, it's Allie from Little Hill Homestead. We are not dead. We are alive, we're doing well. We just, um, to be honest with you, took a really long road trip and it ended up being a really long road trip. <laughs> I was planning on filming videos while we were on the road. I was gonna show you my niece's homestead. I had all these plans and guess what? I didn't do any of it. So instead you guys got you know, two and a half weeks of silence from us. But we are good. Uh, we are back in action. We just got back, not yesterday, the night before. We're on a three hour time difference because we visited California. We saw our family, we went fishing. We took some much needed, uh, my husband took some much needed time off of work. And so here we are. But let me tell you this, three weeks away from your home, especially when you have a homestead and a garden and blah, 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 blah. It's a really long time. So we came back, our garden is mostly dead because of course, it always rains where we live, always rains where we live. But guess what? It didn't rain for three weeks and we went through a heat wave as well. So most of my garden is dead, I'm trying to save what I can, but it is what it is. And then we had some very serious break issues. Um, when we were in California, we noticed it, couldn't find anybody. No places could fit us in to even just inspect our breaks until we hit Winslow, Arizona. Winslow, Arizona. Yeah. And this place was on a corner. <laughs> um, if you're ever in Winslow or near Winslow and you need automotive repair done, Dalton's in Winslow, this guy was awesome. He saw us, he didn't even charge us cause he couldn't fix it. So we continued to drive the rest of the way home, but it did put us behind a couple of days. Anyways. So with that being said, we're back and guess what that means it's time to finish our salve. Um, we started the plantain mixture right before we left and um it just sat it looks like seaweed or something disgusting at this point um i did take a ziploc and i filled it with water and i set it in there so that nothing would um, float to the top because it will mold if you have like you know that air layer on the top so i did go ahead and do that all i've done is remove that from the jar and um this is honestly the easiest bug bite salve you guys will ever make ever so let me show you, this is the one we made last year. I have one little jar left. It will harden up and become like this. Um, it is very, I'm trying to see if you can see it. Where about my finger? It's very soft, but it works great on mosquito bites, which I wish I had taken it with me to California because goodness, we were up in the high Sierras and not only were the mosquitoes really bad, you guys, um, a bear tried to get in our van and when we were in verde valley arizona a skunk um came into our site our campsite to try to get in our trash how do you guys scare a skunk without a spraying tell me that anyways it was a fun adventure um our youngest son went with us the three of us squished into a full-size mattress a few of the nights the van worked perfectly and we had a fantastic time. We saw a lot of people, so it was fun. Okay, I'm gonna make just one jar of this to show you guys, just because it's the easiest for me, and then I'll make a few more. Um, what you're gonna need is two, two tablespoons of beeswax. I use one that I got on Amazon. I will link it below. I've used this for a million projects. I've used, this is nice, just cover your face, Allie. Um, I've used it for a bunch of projects and I still have a ton left. I've had it for a couple years, so, and it's really not that expensive. So I'm gonna take two tablespoons of our beeswax. I'm just doing this in one of these jars. Uh, what is this, a pint jar? No, or whatever, what is this? It's like a six ounce, eight ounce jar. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave for 30 seconds just to melt it. Okay, while that is doing its thing, I have a, I don't know what this is called, a mesh strainer. And I have our olive oil infused with plantain. I'm gonna set this and try to do this. Ooh, that's popping behind me already, awesome. Um, I'm gonna try to gently do this, but basically you're just gonna pour the olive oil through and try to catch the plantain as best you can. We're not gonna use the plantain. It's already given us all the properties we need woo, from it, so. You can see let me put this over here. There's our one cup. Um, <laughs> it's a juggling act. As you can see, see it turn like green. I mean, we have green olive oil now. Perfect. 
Okay, that's not quite melted, so we're gonna go ahead and do another 30 seconds. Um, so basically, this really this is just olive oil, beeswax to thicken it up, and the plantain. Plantain has, I don't even know what the property is, but it takes the sting out of bug bites. So it's not a preventative. Um, it doesn't have like a smell or anything like that to keep them away. It's just for after the fact. Um, a few of you have asked me if you can use it before. What we use here at our homestead, because we get noceums, which are kind of a mosquito, basically. Um, we, I either use vanilla body wash or I mix vanilla essential oils or, I mean, um, oh my gosh, what's the stuff we make? You know what, you guys, coming back from vacation, my brain is done for, um, just vanilla. Okay, we're getting there. Let me grab a spoon that I forgot to grab. Extract, vanilla extract. That's the word I'm looking for. So you get um, vanilla extract and you dilute it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and you spray it on yourself. And that is, do another 30 seconds. That's the best thing to use. Um, I also have used other things like tea tree oil and some of the other things, but I find vanilla works the best. So stick with vanilla. I know not everybody, ooh, of course, Amazon shows up right now. Um, of course, not everybody likes the smell of vanilla, but mosquitoes don't either. And so I'd rather smell like vanilla than be covered in mosquito bites. Let's be real. Okay, I'm hoping this gets done because I don't want this to take 12 minutes to show you guys how to melt beeswax. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, we went to California and we got to see a bunch of my family. So my husband and I are both from California and um, we got to see a bunch of my family. We saw a little bit of his family as well. We're going out again later this summer and we'll see a little bit more of his family at that one. But um, this jar is getting extremely hot. I'm going to go to plan B. I'm going to put it in just a cheapy pan that I have over here and try to heat it up that way. And then I'm going to probably pause you guys and actually melt this because it's getting too hot. So maybe don't microwave beeswax. Maybe just stick it right. I mean, I've microwaved it before, but um, I've usually done it in a bowl, not in this. So, all right, we're putting it in a pan. So, anyways, yeah, my plan was while we were traveling, I was going to do videos. My niece has a homestead um, in California in Southern California and she's got chickens and a huge garden and um, a bunch of really cool dogs. And she's done it all in a really small amount of property. So I really wanted to give you guys a tour when I was there, but we just didn't get time to do it. And then um, I was gonna also shoot some videos of us cooking while we were up in Bishop in the High Sierras. And then again, okay, let me first say, there's zero cell phone coverage up there, like none at all, which is glorious. But it also has its downfalls because, like, we couldn't check in with our kids that were home, blah, blah, blah. So, anyways, it's fine. It's, you know, welcome to it. Life without cell phones. We were, we were fine. We had a lot of fun. Um, what else? That's about it. We came back and we made bread and we started a fresh batch of ranch and we're feeding sourdough and trying to re revive the garden. That has been, honestly, I was so sad when we got home. But um, we have zero bell peppers left, which you guys know I freeze bell peppers. And so I'm hoping that they come back enough to at least get some. If not, I might actually go buy plants and bite the bullet and spend a little money on some plants. But these are all the seed starts we've been working on since January. So it's just like, it's very disheartening. Um, the things that did survive are super duper stunted in growth. And so like our tomatoes that we left were this big are still this big. It's the oddest thing. Um, but I'm glad they're not dead. So I'm going to go out there twice a day, water them and really, um, try to get them back to life. Okay. Our beeswax is pretty much melted. That was faster. Stick with that. Usually like you guys know, we made, um, the beeswax wraps, when we made those, um, you heat it up with an iron. And so I don't always heat my beeswax up like this, but it's fine. Okay, it's completely melted now. You can't see it. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I 
and don't want to heat up um, our olive oil too much, but this is not that hot for really. So I have one cup of all, <laughs> I have one cup of our um, plantain infused olive oil and I'm going to dump our beeswax in there. Now remember this is cold, so it's going to do some funky stuff. This was a disaster. It totally, <laughs> oh, you guys, look what I did. That was dumb. I put it in cold liquid. So what did it do? It hardened right back up. All right, we're just going to heat all this up. I promise I have made this before. We make it once a year. Sometimes when you don't make things, but once a year, your brain kind of forgets how to do it. So I'm just going to heat this back up a little bit. Obviously, I've made it before. I have jars of it. Um, I always tell you guys, I show you everything. We don't do retakes. And so um, when my brain doesn't remember how to do something, you guys get to see it. Welcome to it. Anyways, I'm going to heat that up. I'm telling you, I need to come off vacation mode. Being three hours off too, like even though we drove back, we drove back in three, four days. We jammed um, back as fast as we possibly could because um, we had to get back to work and stuff. But um, it's really hard to get out of bed in the morning. Really hard. Been there, right? So my husband was saying for every week that you're in a different time zone, it takes one full day to recuperate. So we should be back to normal by this weekend. We'll see. Anyways. All right, this is slowly warming up. I, I don't, you don't want to warm it up too much because you don't want to lose the properties that you have from the plantain. Really, you won't, but um, I like to do as minimal as possible to heat it up. All right, my beeswax is getting back in here. We're good. But anyways, yeah, so we had fun. We got to see family, which is always like good for the soul. And... Um, our youngest kid went with us, like I said, and it was a blast, except for the bear. I woke up at two o'clock in the morning and I, our son was sleeping in a tent kind of away from us. All right, my beeswax is fully melted back into here. So, um, my jar, I'm just gonna dump this right into the jar. It's not that hot, so it should be fine. All right. I have a little bit more, so what I'll typically do is find a few of like this size jar, the little guys, um, but I have to go in the pantry to find those. And I just lightly put the lid on today because it's, like I said, it's still warm. But as it hardens, boom, it'll, it'll turn into a hard salve. That'll be good to go. Okay, let me finish the bear story and then you guys can go, or I can go. By the way, it is hot in the south right now. I've had a long day, but I just finished my audit for work, so... I'm a little more happy. I think I'll go finally take my shower. By the way, it's um, what time? It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, like I said, we had to get back from vacation uh, as quickly as we could because um, my husband needed to get back to work and it's really hard to work on the road. And with the brake issue, it delayed us a little bit. So he's been working all night to try to make up for the time he took off and all day and not taking showers, which we did not take showers basically the whole time we were camping. I took a shower at 5 p.m. yesterday. I took one yesterday at 5. It's been less than 24 hours. You're fine. <laughs> okay. But yeah, well, okay, so two things, the bear and showers. Okay, I had every intention of showering every single day or every few days while you're camping, but let's be real, um, it was seven days. So we did sink showers basically um, with some soap and had – hair buns every single day my kid my husband and my kid don't care because you know dudes like to be dirty but it was rough <laughs> except that now i'm having to get used to showering again because i got used to not showering so there's Makes that sense. Makes sense. <laughs> so the bear so my son is sleeping in a tent and he's like kind of far from us and i was worried that there might be a bear or other wildlife so we slept with the back doors of our van opened and we always sleep with our heads towards that door. And I thought, eh, if the door is open, I want to lay the other way. So we set ourselves up to sleep the other way. And we have a mosquito net and it hangs with magnets. Well, in the middle of the night, I hear the magnets popping on this mosquito net. And so I said, oh, my son's name. I said, are you trying to get in the van? Everything okay? And it didn't get an answer. And it's pitch black outside. You can't see anything. 
So I sit up and I said, are you trying to get in the van? So I grabbed my cell phone. Mind you, I am blind as a bat, have to wear contacts or glasses or I can't see anything. Well, let me tell you, this thing was close enough. And when I turned that flashlight on, I started beating the crud out of my husband, screaming, insert bad word here. Um, there's a bear trying to get in the van and it, my bad, we have a fruit basket in our van. It had an apple in it. One apple, it wasn't even cut up. Now Amazon's here. Uh, one apple and this bear decided it wanted to come in the van to get the apple. So my husband, sound asleep, I'm beating the bejesus out of him. He's not moving. He's making like noises like, why are you bothering me, lady? Well, I think I probably woke up the whole campsite. Ends up, um, she ran off and everything was fine. And my husband sat outside for two hours to make sure she didn't come back. But the camper right next to us had left fish guts all over his picnic table. Y'all, if you have a bear box in your campsite, there's a reason. Just be wise about it. That's all. So we're fine. The skunk ran off, didn't spray. It just wanted um, my, my Mountain Dew bottle. It was in the trash. Anyways, that's enough about our vacation. We're back in action. We got to see a lot of loved ones and um, our garden is dead. That's the ba basic update of um, our little vacation. Yeah, so there you go. Well, we caught a lot of fish. We caught some fish. I caught a lot of fish and we made fish sandwiches and stuff and it was delicious and we had fun. So anyways, that is our salve. Here's our jar that once it cools down, I will tighten the lid. This is the one we made last year. The stuff that I spilled is already solidifying on my cutting board. But um, like I said, you just let it, it'll last forever in here. Um, but it's, see how it solidifies? And like I was saying, if you squish it, you can pull some out pretty easily. You just rub it on your bug bites and it gets rid of the pain. The itchiness goes away. So that is our salad recipe. One cup of the plantain stuff that you let sit for 30 days, two tablespoons of beeswax. This is the organic one. I'll link it below. And then for every cup that you soaked, I can probably do another mini batch. Um, you just keep making more. That's it. So there you go. There's a 20 minute rant. And if you don't like our rants, you don't have to watch our channel. <laughs> but please do. But please do. Yes. It's just, um, normally I don't rant like this, but coming back from vacation, and really not giving you guys a heads up that we wouldn't be posting. I didn't want you guys to think we just um, fell off the face of the earth, which we did. Because California, it's a little bit different than it used to be. Okay, rant over. Thank you for watching, you guys. Um, I'll have the recipe below, and then I'll have part one of this video also linked below, as well as the beeswax. And I'll have more videos for you guys next week. Appreciate you watching. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <sighs> the clicker, y'all.